Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 11th of 2025 is titled Sky Full of Planets. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a panoramic view of the sky stretching across there. And we see a number of different planets. In fact, six of the eight planets are visible here. Well, actually seven if you want to count Earth as being one of those planets. And we can certainly see at least a portion of the Earth in this image as well. So the only planet not visible in this right now is Mercury. But this is actually showing a panoramic view with all of these planets currently up above the horizon and pretty much visible for the month of January. Now we see over to the left hand side we do see the planet Mars. And that is off toward the east just rising. We see Jupiter toward the uh, upper a little up farther up the image. And that is Jupiter one of the brighter planets in the sky. And then we see the next two are Uranus and Neptune. Now their locations are noted, but they're not ones you can actually see without the aid of binoculars or a telescope to be able to pick them out. So those two their locations are noted. And then we see Saturn down there a little bit below Neptune and then finally Venus which is very prominent in the evening sky and will remain so for the next couple of next month or two. And then finally barely visible down on the horizon there would be or the moon and that would be the moon shining by earth shine because it was a very thin crescent moon and that would then be most of the light from it is actually light from the earth that bounces off the moon and then back to earth illuminating it. So here we get to see six planets seven if you want to count the earth plus the moon in one image and something that will be really visible over the course of this month. Now, the, you notice that they're all along this arc. Well, that arc in the sky is actually what is known as the ecliptic. The ecliptic is the apparent path of the sun across the sky. So because our solar system is very flat, all of the planets seem to take about the same path of the sun in the sky, and they will always be located very close to the ecliptic. And the constellations that happen to be located close to the ecliptic are known as the zodiacal constellations. They are prominent because of their location. They are the constellations through which the sun, the moon and the planets will pass over the course of the year. So you won't see the sun, moon or planets in most of the constellations, only those ones very close to the ecliptic. Those that we know as the zodiacal constellations are ones where the planets will ever be visible. So we also have something else coming up in just a couple of days, which is on January 13th, as we will have a full moon. And the full moon will pass in front of Mars for certain parts of the United States. So much of the continental United States and eastern Canada will get to see an occultation of Mars by the moon when the moon will pass in front of Mars, blocking out its light temporarily. So that was our picture of the day for January 11th of 2025. It was titled Sky Full of Planets. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Small, small Moon Big Crater. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.